actually seeing is the systematic implementation of the fall of the republic and the rise of the corporation of the United States. Every major event is, is a step in the ladder to achieve that end. COVID is just another rung in the ladder, which is why there's a deliberate mixing of all the wordplay. Right. I mean, we should stop calling it, you know, quarantine. That's a term designated for people that are verified sick. This is a house arrest mandated by the state. You should stop calling it, you know, social distancing. There's nothing social about forced isolation. Uh, we should stop saying safer at home when millions of Americans don't have basic necessities adequate to fit their needs. It assumes that everybody's home is equally as safe as the people that are making the statements. We should stop saying, you know, uh, this is for the greater good. Right. When you close the economy, killing millions of businesses that families have worked generations to establish, that's anything but good. We should stop saying this is the new normal. That's just blatant mind control drivel. There's nothing normal about forced isolation, you know, treating your neighbor like they have the plague, breathing your own bodily waste, wearing masks, living in constant fear of contamination. That's normal. I mean, after all, if the virus is so deadly, why hasn't it wiped out the homeless who don't social distance, wash themselves regularly, let alone, you know, live in or have access to a sterile environment? Last year, 1.5 million people died of tuberculosis. Why were you not wearing a mask during the tuberculosis pandemic? You were endangering, you know, public health and safety, along with billions of other uh, people around the globe. So why didn't you wear a mask? I'll tell you why. Because the mainstream media didn't tell you to wear a mask. <laughs> right? And so because, because though 1.5 million people died from tuberculosis, there was no tuberculosis pandemic. Any more than there's a coronavirus pandemic. What you're really participating in is a beta test for AI systems and facial recognition. See, these cameras work best when people are, you know, distance apart. Now that they're, now they're actually testing through machine learning how to recognize, you know, a face that's partially covered. It's also a way to easily determine who's compliant and who's not. Who does the propaganda work on and who it doesn't? Now get this, you know, there there's some ironies that are here, right? A, so, a society that kills millions of babies a year for convenience has shut itself down to prevent adults from dying. People that on the one hand slaughter babies in the womb by the millions are now preaching uh, to the masses about the, the sanctity of human life. It's double speak, double talk. It's the, two, it's the two doctrine policy. One for the initiated, one for the uninitiated. One for the inner circle, another for the masses. It's like saying, you know, if I violate the stay at home order, I can be arrested. But you're letting convicted criminals out of prison so they don't get coronavirus. Thesis. Antithesis. Synthesis. If there's a real pandemic, does it require, you know, uh, faulty virus models, rigged test results, 81% false positives, inaccurate news reporting, staged hospital overruns, manipulated death certificates? Nope. You know, when the government shuts down you know, millions of small businesses but doesn't lay off any government employees, it's not about the health. Hmm? When the state bans dentists from practicing but deems it necessary for abortion clinics to stay open, it's not about your health. When the, the, the state prevents you from buying seeds for your garden but allows you to purchase lottery tickets, it's not about your health. An institution that you know has the ability to destroy all of Earth through you know a, alleged nuclear warfare should not regulate personal self-defense. You know, an institution that's caught trafficking drugs shouldn't be able to regulate plants. An institution that's racked up $23 trillion prior to coronavirus in debt shouldn't be allowed to manage the retirement fund. Hmm? An institution that was caught spreading STDs should not be allowed to run health care. If people are really concerned about public health and safety, you know, in general, but, you know, they don't care if people, you know, um, eat garbage, drink poison, smoke cancer and take prescription drugs, but think that toilet paper, hand sanitizer and masks are going to protect them from the boogeyman coronavirus. You know, this is a special kind of stupid that I, I can't address here. You should ask yourself uh, some, a couple basic questions. 
When did you consent from, you know, you creating a government to serve you to you serving the government ruling over you? If you want to know, you know, who's in charge, just think about who you can and can't criticize.